hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial so in this video i'll be teaching you how to um solve implicit differentiation in less than 60 seconds okay this is what this um video is all about so all you have to do is just um equate all of these equation okay the entire of this equation to zero so let's see how you solve that remember that we are doing this in less than 60 seconds okay so we have what 3s squared y minus what 4 s squared plus what 3 plus 7y minus 10 equals 0 that's the first step okay that's the first step now let's take the second step so the second step is to use a specific formula i'm about to give you okay so just use that formula and then you are good to go so from here you can notice that we have to find what dy dx which is the same as yx okay so in order to find yx or dy dx okay all you need to do is just um, write out this formula, okay? f prime of x divided by what? f prime of what? y, okay? That is all you need to do. Just write out this formula. So after writing out this formula, all you have to do is just concentrate on this um, question, okay? Just concentrate on this question and let's solve this question together. So now let's take the third step. So we've been able to write this entire um, expression and then equate it to zero and then write out the exact formula we'll be using. So the third step is to what solve the question. So let's first find what um so we know that we are finding what dy dx. Okay, let's first find what f prime of what x. So for f prime of x, it means that we are partially differentiating with respect to what x. Okay, so this is how we do that. So this partially differentiates um 3x squared y. So that will give us what 6 s y okay keep that in bracket because of the negative sign and then let's move on to another x um expression so we have what minus 4 s squared so this will give us what minus 8 x and then we could notice that we do not have any x over here so we just keep this in bracket and then you go to what the denominator which is what f prime of y so all you are doing is just partially differentiating what respect to y okay so let's look at this first expression you have what 3 s squared y so let's partially differentiate that when we do that we end up with what 3x squared because this will give us what 1 and then this goes to 0 because it doesn't have any y attached to it this one will also go to 0 and then this one will be what you can now what partially differentiate 7y which will give us what positive what 7 okay and then this goes to 0 because it doesn't have any y attached to it once you are done with this you are good to go okay you can decide to further simplify you can decide to not okay it all depends on you note that the negative sign is attached to the word numerator and i'll see you in the next video bye bye